Hello, this is Brock Lemires, and we're continuing our study of embedded systems design. We've switched over to the C programming language to program our MSP430, and in this video, we're going to look at programming the digital outputs of our launch pad. <clears throat> okay, so when we are in C, we're going to notice that it's very uh, similar to an assembly where we're going to have individual statements that configure configuration registers and set things like the data direction register. Uh, we also have to enable the digital I.O. system by clearing the lock LPM 5 bit. And then we just flat out write logic levels to PX out. And so it's pretty straightforward and we're going to use bitwise logic operations. So let's go for it. OK, so fire up CCS. And let's go ahead and make a new project called C underscore, we'll just call it dig, dig IO outputs and LED. <clears throat> okay. All right. And then we got our empty only right there. So we go ahead and say finish. And here we go. Okay. So we got our main. I'm going to go ahead and nuke that little comment header. And it already has the statement in there for the for the watchdog timer. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some one-time setup, okay? So we're, we'll have a uh, infinite loop where we'll turn on and off an LED, but let's go, let's set up the IO first, okay? So I'm gonna do some setup ports right here. And first and foremost, let's go ahead and configure LED one as an output, okay? So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say configure uh, port one bit zero, which is LED one <clears throat> as output. Okay. Uh, and so on our launchpad board, port one bit zero is connected to LED one. And so the way I do it is this, I'm going to say P one D I R. And that is the name of the port one direction register from the MSP 430 header file. Okay. And I can use that label, not label, but I can use that def defined name directly in C, which is great. It's just like an assembly. And I'm going to do the shorthand for uh, setting a bit, which is going to be the bitwise or, and it is going to assign, and I can do bit zero. And think about what I just did. <laughs> okay, so bit zero is a mask. And so it is basically zero, 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 one, right? So it's got 15 zeros and then a one. And so what I do is I use that mask and I perform a bitwise or on port one DIR and then I assign it back to port one DIR. So that's the shorthand there. Okay. <clears throat> and what's really cool about this is that uh, I didn't need to remember much. Okay. I didn't need to remember the address for port one DIR. I, di I didn't really need to remember the mask for bit zero, even though it's pretty simple. But it's and it's also kind of readable. What's what you need to remember though is that this little operator right there means bitwise or, and if you or it with the right mask, it'll set a bit. So I just made that an output. Now what I need to do is really all I need to do now is I could turn off port one. Uh, we'll do that in a little bit here. So now let's do this. I need to uh, turn on GPIO system, and the way we do that is by clearing the lock LPM bit, LPM five bit in the port PM five control register. So watch what I do here. I go PM five CTL zero. <clears throat> okay. So that's the register that I'm going to clear a bit in. Now, when I do a clear, I'm going to do a bitwise and, and that's the shorthand to do a bitwise and on this operator, on this register and also assign back to that register. And then what I do is remember with a, and you have to do an inversion using the tilde of your mask. So if I do lock LPM5, this is a mask, but it is a positive logic mask. So it's going to be something like this. Okay. And so if we're going to use it to clear a bit, we need something that looks more like this, right? Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, so we need to basically invert all the bits in here so that the the bit associated with lock LPM5, which was a one in the original mask, is inverted. And then that way I can use it with an and operation that will clear out just that bit and leave everybody else the same. Okay, so like I said, this is this little tilde is going to uh, be a headache for you <laughs> because it's so easy to forget it. And then all of a sudden your mask doesn't work the way you think. 
But now we've turned on the GPIO system. So let's just get in an infinite loop here and let's write to the LEDs, okay? So now think about it, it's ready to go. All I need to do is write to port one out <clears throat> and I can, let's turn it on uh, initially. And so all I do here is bit zero and that is turn LED one on. And now think about what I just did. I use that same mask, bit zero, and I'm now assigning to a different register, which is P1 out, port one out, and I used a bitwise OR in order to turn on or set the bit in P1 out, and I just turned it on. Okay, so now if I wanted to turn it off, I just do P1 out, and now I'm gonna turn it off using a clear or a bitwise AND, but again, remember, I have to use the tilde bit zero, and that's so that I can use the same mask, bit zero, so it's very readable, but in this case, I'm gonna clear. So now watch this, I'm gonna do a turn, uh, let's make this nice, turn LED one off, okay? All right, so let's go see if that worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that up, and let's plug in your MSP430. We'll go ahead and fire up a, a debug session, and I wanna step through here, and we can kind of take a look at the code that was generated. Now in this situation, the optimizer, I didn't mess with the optimizer, it, should allow, it shouldn't remove my code because I'm accessing the outside world. <clears throat> okay, but I still can set breakpoints. So I'm gonna set a breakpoint down here <clears throat> and go ahead and run to it, okay? All right, so if I have my disassembly over here, I can see that uh, it did, so there's, let's see, this is bit one, or excuse me, I'm gonna do the data direction register. So I go ahead and look at how it implemented it. It's not using port one, it's using port A. And now think about it, do you remember what port A is? Port A <clears throat> is the concatenation of port one and port two. Kind of interesting, I wouldn't use port A, but the compiler decided that that makes it a little bit easier for it. So it doesn't matter, it's still the same logic. So if I go ahead and do that, all right, that's fine. It did use a bit clear for this instruction, so it did recognize my bitwise and, so that's good. And it used a little bit different mask or it used a different register name that I've been using. So interesting, all right, that's fine, as long as it works. And now here we are, we've got bit set and a bit clear for these two instructions in our main loop. But once again, it uses a mask of one, which is, you know, binary zero, 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 one. And then again, it used a PA underscore PA out. So it used a little bit different uh, register name from the header file than we use. So that's fine, I guess it works. So now watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go over here. It looks like LED one is already on. And so if I do this, it will write it to an on. It just happened to come up in an on state. And now I'm gonna clear it and it went off. Nice, okay, and then it's gonna jump back to this label right here and it's gonna do it forever. So that represents the while loop. So I can just now click and look at that. It's working, it's working. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's do a, so that we did it, now let's do a little uh, blinky, okay? So let's get this thing to blink on its own, and that'll show me how to do the, uh, <clears throat> that'll show me how to do the, the exclusive OR game. Okay, so let's, let's do this. I'm gonna take this code right here, I'm gonna cut this, and I want to initially turn off the LED. So I just move that up there. And now what I'm gonna do is, when I come into the while loop, instead I'm gonna toggle port one. So I'm gonna do port one out, <clears throat> bitwise exclusive or, and then I'm gonna use bit zero as the mask. And this will toggle LED one, okay? And that's fine. The only trick now is that we need a delay loop. And so now we're like delay loops. I don't know how to do delay loops. I can use a for loop. So I can come up here and just say int i equals zero. And then I come down here and I'm just gonna put a for loop and just spin my wheels. So let's do four i is equal to zero, and then we'll go i is less than zero x f, 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 just a big number, and then we'll do the i plus plus this time. And now all I'm gonna do is nothing, right? So I'll just say do nothing. <clears throat> and it, it essentially what this for loop's gonna do is it's gonna count from zero up to f, 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 and then exit. And so I'll toggle the LED, spin my wheels, toggle the LED, spin my wheels, and this should blink continuously. Okay, so let's fire that up. And <clears throat> we're doing all when we've shown all the logic operations in use, set, clear, toggle. And now we throw a for loop in there in order to cause delay. 
I'm like, all right, now what? How's this going to work? Let's go ahead and remove that breakpoint and just go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, we did it. We're blinking. And more importantly, we actually understand the code that we typed. You know, remember we did blinky before and we, we had no idea what was going on. And now we actually know what's going on. And so we cause that LED to run and, and to blink and we actually understand it. So that's awesome. <laughs> All right, congratulations. That's it. As always, remember, support my channel by subscribing and see ya.